With the winter event that started on the 1st of December, we got a brand new story to go along with the questline. While most players complete the quests as fast as possible and ignore the story, I took the time to go through and write down every beginning and completion text to assemble the full story for you right here. Grab a cup of cocoa and get comfy. But what? Oops. I promised my mom I would watch my manners, at least during the holidays. Anyway, what are you doing here? What are you staring at, these star biscuits? Well, it turns out that they are mine. Very well, very well. You may have some. Phew, what a bummer. Did you enjoy the biscuits? My mother bakes them every year. She has a baker here in Mistletoe. By the way, you still haven't told me what you're doing here. Hey, don't go finishing all the biscuits. Other people want them too. And by other people, I mean me. Well, I guess it's nice to meet you. My name is Amy. Is it also a pleasure for you to meet me? Can you smell that freshly baked biscuit smell? Mmm. I would do anything to have more of those biscuits. I'm sure you'd also do anything, wouldn't you? I see that you like my biscuits a lot. If you want, I can give you more of my biscuits. If you do my chores for me in return. What do you say? You know what the secret is to make these biscuits so delicious? They're made with lots of love. No, I lied. The secret is that they're made with lots of sugar and butter. I know, I know, I shouldn't open my presents yet. I'm not opening them. I'm just shaking them to hear how they sound and guessing what's inside. Listen, this package sounds like... Yes, I'm sure this is the noise a wishing will makes. How can it fit in this small box? Look, if you're not going to eat those biscuits, maybe we can make a deal. I'll trade you 10 biscuits for this amazing surprise present. What do you say? Hey, don't look at me. I didn't put the gifts in the boxes. If you want to know what was inside, you should have shaken it beforehand. Hey, come on, come close. I want to tell you something. See that tree out there? Not that one, that one. Well, it turns out that every year, something very strange happens in this town. Wait, I'll be back in a second. Drinking so much hot chocolate. You understand me, right? Where was I? Oh, yes. Well, it turns out that the neighbors turn on the lights in their houses, one after another. And when they're all on, that tree magically lights up. Can you believe it? What's happening? You don't believe me? Maybe you should read less and play more. The strangest thing of all is that when the tree lights up, you receive a gift. Yes, you, who doesn't even live here. Some say that it is the elves who hide in the forest that deliver the gifts. But I think those are just stories for children. The elves do not exist. In fact, they are ex-workers of an old toy factory that went bankrupt because the owner gave away all the toys. My mother explained to me that this is called Mbalza, Mbez, Mbez, I'll say it right next year. The former owner of the toy factory is called Nicholas. He still lives in Mistletown and continues to give toys to children in hospitals around the world. How does he get so many toys? He founded an NGO and people donate lots of money to him because he wants the children to be happy and they deduct it from their taxes. After his toy factory went bankrupt, the workers created a cooperative to rescue the factory so that they could continue working. How does an 8 year old girl know these things? This town only has 20 houses. There isn't much to talk about here. If you're interested, you can buy some gifts from the elves. If you buy a lot of them, they'll give you a discount if you tell them that I've sent you, okay? Yeah, the most they sell at a time is nine. Not ten, nine. I don't know why. I guess that they're the only ones that fit on the counter? I've already told you the pointed ears are made of fabric. The elf who attends the elves workshop is called Chloe. She lives two houses from mine and is a knocker up. Have you ever wondered who wakes up the knocker uppers? I guess it's those questions that just don't have answers. They're still here? Do you plan to stay much longer? It's already night, and I'm not allowed to talk to strangers this late. Don't worry, you can stay longer if you want. So much hot chocolate has taken away my sleep. Do you like hot chocolate? You should visit the Chocolatery. In my opinion, they make the best chocolate in the world, even if it's the only one I've ever tasted. No, hot chocolate isn't the only thing I drink. Sometimes I drink it cold. <laughs> People say that the owner of the chocolate lottery is crazy and plans to give his factory to someone from the town. If I won, I'd be swimming in hot chocolate all day. My friend Veruca once visited the factory. And come to think of it, I never saw her again since that day. How odd. What would you do if you were the owner of the chocolate lottery? Wait, let me guess. You would take it out of Mistletown and put it in your town, right? It's what everyone does. Moving a building from one city to another isn't as easy as you think. It's not just a matter of pressing a button and that's it. Real life is not like a dollhouse. Speaking of the devil, look, there's Willy carrying a box of chocolates. I'm sure he's going to visit Padmini. I wish I was that governor's daughter. 
Do you know who else brings gifts to Padmini? Corden, the pastry chef. That's right, but don't tell anyone that I told you. Well, yes, Padmini is the daughter of the governor, so she has the most varied suitors, including her first cousin, Sir Second the Third. Sir Second the Third is the captain of the brigantine Quatrine, of the fifth fleet of Sixto Munoz, the famous admiral in the Seven Seas. Didn't you know? Sixto Munoz is the bravest sailor in the world. He loses around two to three of his body parts per year in battles. They say that Sixto Munoz has gunpowder with rum for breakfast, and every time he gives an order, he spits sparks and ignites the cannons with his eruptions. Padmini has so much money that she has an artist living in her palace who makes a painting of each of her meals every day. Every day, Padmini's artist polishes the bronze sculptures in the palace, and every morning he polishes Padmini's face. Do you have your license to drive flying snow sleds pulled by reindeer with you? No? Come with me. I want to show you something. It's cold out here. Walk faster, will you? I don't want my chocolate to get cold. Yes, I've already told you a thousand times. The sled belongs to my grandfather. And no, you don't need a license. I was just playing with you. There it is. Come on, let's go. All right, let's see. Reindeer, ready. Lanterns, on. Carabiner, ready. And altimeter, ready. All set. Oh wait, before takeoff, fasten your belt. You wouldn't want your trousers to fall down when we're flying. One more thing. When we're flying, watch out for witch catchers, and of course, be careful not to run over any witches. Now you can release the brake, and let's go. I'm going to close my eyes. I don't want to watch when we take off. Ah. Are we flying already? Are we flying already? I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. Land, land. I'm afraid of heights. Ah. Are we on solid ground already? Can I open my eyes now? You, what a trip. Now I understand why you don't have a license to drive flying snow sleds. Hey, if anyone asks, we never flew any snow sleds. It'll be our secret, all right? Come, let's go see the Nutcracker's guardhouse. I love it. When I grow up, I want to be queen of the Nutcrackers and have my own royal guard. When I'm queen of the Nutcrackers, I'll have a palace made of chocolate, and I'll make you my right hand. What do you say? Would you be my right hand? I have it all figured out. When I'm queen, I'll make sure everyone in my kingdom has food, toys, perfume, and hot chocolate for life. Isn't that the best idea you've ever heard? Pay attention and take note, right hand. Today, we are going to define the future. With my ideas, the 20th century will be the best century in history. I have another idea. I'll make all the inhabitants of my kingdom happy by law. Why has no one thought of that idea yet? No one will be allowed to be unhappy. People who are not happy will be given hot chocolate until they are. Speaking of hot chocolate, I have to tell you a story that will make you sleepless tonight. But first, we better get back to the house. We're safe in here. This town isn't safe at night during this time of year, especially when the snow falls. <laughs> Many years ago, there was a very stingy man named Ernest Crumbs who owned a textile factory on the banks of the Missile River. At that time, children worked up to 12 hours a day in factories. Can you believe it? Now, luckily, they only work six hours a day. Anyways, one day he fired seven siblings who worked in the factory because the youngest accidentally broke a needle on a loom. The little boy felt so guilty that he ran away from home, but the six siblings found him in the woods and told him that none of them held a grudge against him. Now listen, here's the interesting part. Turns out that same night, Mr. Crumbs bent down to pick a penny from the ground and it fell into the river. The river was frozen so he didn't sink right away. But as soon as he tried to get up, the ice broke and he was swept away by the violent current. After several kilometers, Mr. Crumbs managed to get out of the river and walk to a humble house in the middle of the forest. And it turned out that the seven siblings lived there. The siblings recognized Mr. Crumbs, who was as pale as snow, and quickly covered him with a blanket and invited him to sit near the fire. The youngest of the siblings offered to bring a cup of hot chocolate to Mr. Crumbs, who drank it all in one gulp. Mr. Crumbs regained his color and looked at the seven siblings, who were all looking at him with a smile. And then, for the first time in decades, he smiled too. Mr. Crumbs was happy and promised to be good from then on. But all of a sudden, he started melting like a marshmallow floating in hot chocolate. Since then, they say that every time it snows this time of year, Mr. Crumbs comes back for revenge, which is why I always have a mug of hot chocolate to melt him whenever he shows up. Amy, stop telling those stories. I'm sorry, my daughter has a vivid imagination. I hope she wasn't too much trouble. Welcome to Mistletown. My name is Isabella. How was your trip here? Did you take the Winter Express? Excuse me, but your face seems familiar. Have you been here before? Greetings, please stay as long as you want. The town's hotel has plenty of room and we always need cookie testers at the bakery. Greetings, Mistletown is glowing thanks to your help. Take these stars and use them in the winter event. 
and after that quest, it just loops the same text for the rest of the event. If you want to read the story, I'll link it in the description below. If you enjoyed the story, you might also enjoy hearing about spooky stories of the Halloween event, linked on screen now. I hope this brought a little holiday cheer, and see you next time.